you and I give the floor to the United Towns Agency for North-South Cooperation. Honorable Vice President, the systematic aggression against the Baluch continues unabated and with increasing ferocity. The autopsies of the bodies found in the mass graves in Tutak show that the victims were buried alive. Moreover, the commission formed to investigate hasn't even started working. The Baluch continue to go missing and dead bodies keep turning up at regular intervals. The culture of impunity instead of being challenged has been reinforced. Another method adopted by Pakistan is to continue a slow track genocide of Baluch is to carry out army operations <laughs> against Baluch people in various er areas of Balochistan, namely Khoistan and Mari, Dera Bukti, Khuzdar and Makran areas. Honorable Vice President, on the 5th of this month in an operation in Sui, dozens of Baluch men termed as militants were killed. Women and children suffered immeasurably. Then on the 8th, in another operation, Dera Bukti, 10 men were killed. Operations by army in Perun, quake affected Mashke and Buleda, have resulted in displacements and many deaths. The pathetic state of health care in Baluchistan is a result of willful neglect and thus violates human rights. Baluchistan's maternal mortality is among the highest in the world, with 800 per 100,000 women dying whilst giving birth. This is thrice the world average. A 2014 UNICEF report said that for every 1,000 live births, 97 of those will die before their first birthday. Honorable Vice President, Baluch national leader and my father now, Kherbakh Shmari, was assassinated on the 10th of June in Karachi. We appeal to the United Nations to conduct an in-depth investigation regarding this case. Because they did not only assassinate an individual, they are trying to eliminate an ideology of peace, equality and humanity by installing their puppet in order to undo the great progress achieved for the Baluch rights nationally and internationally by my late fa father, Noab Kherbakh I thank you, Madam Vice President. I thank you.